Hey everyone, welcome back to channel SFDC Panther. This is Amit and in this video we are going to work with logs in GIT. So we are going to perform the following commands like uh, how we can list all the logs, how we can list the log in a single line with the commit messages or if you wanted to list the log by the users, how many commits has been made by which user and we wanted to show the log or display the log in the form of grobs with all the connecting dots and uh, if you wanted to if you are that graphs is not making sense even we can uh, display that log into the gui and after that we are going to work with the filtering part if you wanted to display some logs uh, based on the author uh, who commits like if you wanted to display the log by your name you can filter that as well and then uh, if you wanted to put some date range or if you wanted to put some other range like uh, on the weekdays, yesterday or tomorrow, you can use as well. And then we will see if you wanted to see the log for a particular file, we can also do that. And at the end, we are going to see if uh, on the current branch, uh, if we merged any branches uh, with the current branch, what are the commits or what are the logs that has been committed by the users or the changes made by the users. So this is all what we are going to cover in this video. So without making any delay, Let's quickly start with listing all the logs. So to list all the logs, we have a very simple command that is GIT log. And if you wanted to see the log, just use this command and hit enter. You will see all the logs and even the reference uh, of your head pointer because you are on the master branch and where you push the changes to the origin master branch. And this is a reference. And this is a commit ID that you can get Who was the author when that commit was uh, made, made by the user and again the message that we are providing in every commit. So this is what we can see in the commit section and uh, if you wanted to see the rest of the logs you can use uh, enter for checking all the logs whatever the logs has been made. When we say that logs that means those were the, some commits, some tags or some merge all the commits that we made into our local branch the changes actually that we made those are going to be appear here in the form of commits and even if you will uh, sorry you will be able to see the name of the branch if the branch is different that you have made the commit so as we are on the master branch but even we are able to see the commit of the merger branch as well and the same thing we will be able to see some other branch like new branch or support feature so these are the uh, uh, we can say these are uh, the commits information that we can display or that you can go through with the help of the GIT log command. Now if you wanted to quit in between for the windows you can use Control C and for Mac OS you just need to press Q. And let's clear this screen. Now if you wanted to display the logs in a single line how we can do that without displaying much information of our log. So we just need to use GIT log. And just use one other keyword that is one line hyphen hyphen one line and if you hit enter you will see the commit id that is a in this case the commit id is also small but you will see the complete reference here like from the master we pushed the changes to the origin master that is our remote branch and this is the reference uh, whatever the reference we had and then what was th what was the commit message and again we will see the branches in which branch we are making that commit but here you will not be able to see the user information and the time when the user has actually made those changes into the repositories or into the file now again we have seen this uh, your requirement is that you wanted to get the count against each user how many users has uh, made how many counts in a branch where you are so you can also use git sort log this is a quick command for checking counts uh, count of commits against each user so if you hit enter you will see and uh, this user is the user we which we configured in our previous lecture while we were working on the config commands alias commands that is the user and we made only one commit with that user and the other user is Amit Singh who made 20 commits still here you will not be able to see the date when that uh, commit was uh, changed and in, in which file the commit was uh, made uh, that made changes okay so uh, next thing is that if you wanted to display the log in the form of graph how we can display that 
again you just need to use GRT log and instead of one line this time we need to use graph and if you hit enter now you will see that on the left side there is a red dot sign with the nodes all the nodes that means we are connecting all the commits all the branches where the merge has been happened with uh, in which branch uh, that merge has been happened all the dots you are going to see here in the form of a graph and uh, if you wanted to see this you can just minimize the screen and you will see you will be able to see the all like if you wanted to see you know minimum screen so this is how uh, the graph commits looks like again you will see the same information the commit id was the author date and the message of your commit and uh, let's suppose that uh, you wanted to see the log but in a different window or in a different ui how we can use that so for that we have a command gitk this actually opens a new window for you and displays all the logs in a new GUI and if you hit enter it will open and uh, you can see here we are able to uh, see all the logs again in this uh, form of graph you can see and this is uh, we can say that this looks pretty well and uh, here are the date and time when we made the logs and if you select any of those you will see the information over here like uh, who was the author what uh, who was the committer again you will see the information what was the parent child and you will see the branches that are involved and uh, what was the follow proceed like uh, this is the comment that we just put while putting the and uh, while committing that changes and again you will see the new thing that you will be able to see here is the file which file has been modified and what was actually modified in that file and you will see that this is a file um, these are the comments but even you you will see that this is a file yeah in the comment section you will see comments in the file section you will see the files and differences as well so this is how you can use this GUI to display all the command uh, sorry all the commits and all the logs to see the difference between files and all and one thing that I will tell you is if you get any pop-up like allow so you just need to click on allow button so that it can open and uh, display the logs in the form of GUI now next uh, let's talk about if you wanted to get the commit only for a single file or for two files if you wanted to see the logs we don't want to see the complete log because in our real-time projects there will be n number of logs committed by the different users or multiple users we just uh, we are interested to display the logs for a particular file or for two or three files how we can do that so before we go ahead let's quickly list all what all file we have is so let's say that we wanted to see the log for merge.txt and this support.txt file how we can do that so first let's quickly see the log for merge.txt file if you hit enter you will see here uh, uh, again the same thing you can see here all the logs has been listed for that file only and uh, the committer and you will see that the merge happened here and this is why we are able to see that the merge for these two commit id has been happened at this particular commit whenever we are we were tried to resolve the con uh, conflict merge conflict and all the commits here and let's try to put at is a uh, this as a graph form I, I did not try it before but let's see if that works that doesn't work and now let's again try to okay i just tried to clear this so i'm going to clear the screen okay now we wanted to see the log of two files so let's quickly try to see merge.txt and uh, we just wanted to see support.txt hit enter you can see that now there are uh, different uh, we have multiple logs this is for merge.txt that we have the first file and then after uh, we have got uh, some more branch uh, sorry some more commits like you can see support feature is created and we committed and this is the initial initial commit for conflict so these are the way that you can display the commits of a single file or multiple files now suppose that you wanted to display the difference between the difference branches or different branches you wanted to see what has been modified 
into into the different branch you can use for that we have a command called jt difference you just need to hit enter okay we did not okay jt double f and let's say that we wanted to see the difference uh, that is a branch we can see that new merge and hit enter you can see that these are the difference uh, these are the difference we are comparing our master branch oh, sorry our current branch that is master with a branch called new merge and you will see that here this is a command that is actually running behind the scene that means uh, okay let me highlight this text this might be not visible to you okay seems okay that is okay so let me highlight this only so in this you can see that we are comparing this remote new that is a txt file in both the branches we are comparing and this is a new file node and what is the index and this is what we had this is what we had that means uh, if we say that green sign that means this was addition from the remote branch from our current branch or uh, to the child branch and if you talk about uh, we have again this now we want we are checking alias.txt in both the branches because these files are available in the both the branches this is a text that we have then again we have file.txt we are comparing that here and if you see here we have got like we just deleted this line and these lines here earlier and these are the two lines that that has been added so all this difference even you can see between two branches as well and you will see the complete difference for all the available files that are available in both the sections if all the if those files are not available you might get that there is some extra file in this branch or uh, there is yeah that that, uh, that message will look like that there is some extra file in this branch so this is how you can quickly see the difference between two branches and now let's say that uh, you wanted to display the logs based on your dates so let's say that you wanted to see the log after we can say that after 2020 01 and 01 and before even if you don't use before it will work but we're just um, putting here ranges here so we can say that uh, 02 uh, let's make it as 07 and 01 that means from 1st of january to 7th of january we wanted to display all the logs we can use as well and again you can use graph formats or you can use a uh, one liner sort logs whatever you wanted to use here you can see so all the logs will be available here based on your date range that you provide and uh, if you wanted to um, see the logs based on the day like if you wanted to see after yesterday only the two days log you will see the logs all the logs are all the commits all the changes which has been made only only today so we don't need to worry about that uh, i'm looking at the logs which has been uh, committed before uh, today like uh, yesterday or before that you can do that as well uh, so this uh, these are a few uh, operations that we can do while we are working with the logs because the logs are also important to see what has been uh, changes into our project what has been changed into a file and what all being changed uh, what all changes are made by the developers and now let's talk about that uh, we wanted to see we made a merge in our um, one of the previous videos now we wanted to see that if you are on the current branch so if for in which branch we are on we are on master branch and we wanted to know that uh, which branch has been merged with the master branch so for that we have a command on git log and hyphen hyphen merges that means how many merges happens with this branch if you hit enter again you will see all the logs and uh, we have got only one branch which merged, uh, which has been merged with our uh, i think we have got two two branches yes we have got two branches which has been merged into our uh, master branch so if you see that this is the first merge that we have got and uh, then this is the second merge that we have got uh, for the support feature branch and uh, i just uh, put this commit so that we can uh, easily identify that this was a uh, this was the support feature branch and uh, this conflict resolved that we just worked on that uh, while we were working with conflict result so this is uh, like you can see all the 
logs related to merge only that whatever the con uh, whatever the commits or uh, yes whatever the commits has been made to the branch while merging those two branches like uh, while merging the two branches now if you wanted to see all the mm, logs uh, except we can say that except merge you can use no merges that means we will be able to see all the logs which we are accept merging like uh, merge uh, the commits which has been made during the merging of two branches will not be here will be excluded from our logs so yep this is it for this video and uh, this is all about how you can work with logs like from basic till advanced and uh, if you have any questions again please feel free to put down into the comment section and see you soon thank you